Hello everyone! This video is a tutorial on how to use correction layers in Clip Studio Paint. For this video, I'm going to be using this illustration here to show how to use correction layers on top of it. You can create a new correction layer from the layer menu, new correction layer, and select a type of correction layer that you want to apply. The main advantage of using a correction layer is that it preserves the original image by creating a separate layer on top of the image. The correction layer can be adjusted any time by clicking on the layer in the layer window. It can also be hidden and deleted in the same way. The correction layer can also be clipped to a layer or folder by using the Clip to Below layer button. If you want a correction layer to only affect some layers, you can store the selective layers in a folder and then clip the correction layer on top of the folder. There are 8 types of correction layers available, which I will explain further in detail. Brightness Contrast adjusts the brightness and contrast of below layers. Adjusting the brightness slider to the left will darken the image, while adjusting it to the right will brighten the image. Contrast is the difference between the light and dark colors of the image. Adjusting the contrast slider to the left will reduce the difference between the light and dark colors, producing more gray. Adjusting it to the right will increase the difference to the light and dark colors, creating a striking contrast effect. Once you are happy with the effect, click on the OK button. Hue Saturation Luminosity changes the color and values of the below layers. Adjusting the hue will change the tone of the affected layers. Adjusting the saturation will change the vividness of colors. Increasing it results in more vivid colors, while decreasing it results in more muted colors. When saturation is at the lowest value, the image becomes grayscale. Luminosity changes the brightness. Increasing it brightens the image, while decreasing it darkens the image. You can use this correction layer to quickly adjust the tone of the image, add vividness, or change the overall brightness of the image. Posterization converts the below layers into fewer tones by using a set number of levels. You can specify this number between 2 and 20 levels. More levels will create a smoother effect, and less levels will create a rougher effect. You can use this correction layer to create a greater contrast to your illustration, or use it to obtain a color palette of the image. Reverse gradient inverts the colors of the below layers. This can be used to create interesting effects to the image. For example, I apply this correction layer above the background to create a striking color effect. Level correction adjusts the brightness of the below layers by using a histogram. The histogram shows the volume of the dark and bright areas, as shown as mountain-like peaks. Under Input, the left slider controls the darkest parts of the image, the middle slider controls the midtones of the image, and the right slider controls the lightest parts of the image. Dragging any of these sliders to the left will brighten the image, while dragging them to the right will darken the image. Under Output, the left slider adjusts the darkest parts of the image the right slider adjusts the lightest parts of the image. You can individually adjust the color by selecting a channel from RGB, red, green, or blue. Tone curve adjusts the brightness of below layers by using the tone curve. On the horizontal axis of the graph is the input value. It is the original brightness of the image and on a vertical axis is the output value, the brightness of the image after adjustment. To adjust the brightness, drag the control points on the graph. You can also select a channel to adjust the brightness from RGB, red, green, and blue. Color balance adjusts the colors of the below layers by changing the balance of RGB colors. You can use this to adjust or replace a certain color in the image. You can select from shadow, halftone, or highlight to separately adjust the color balance. For example, I use this correction layer to add warm colors to the clouds in the background. Because the clouds are the lightest colors, I select the highlight and drag the sliders towards red and yellow. 
This creates an interesting color effect to the image that I am only applying to the background by dragging the correction layer above the background layer. Binarization converts the layers below into blacks and whites. The threshold slider determines the amount of blacks and whites in the image. A low threshold will have more colors converted to white, while a high threshold will have more colors converted to black. Use this correction layer to create more light and dark areas in the image. For example, I select a high threshold, then I change the layer blending mode to lighten to add highlights to the lightest areas of my image. Gradient Map converts the colors of below layers to a gradient. From the gradient set, select a gradient to apply on top of the correction layer. I use the gradient map to create interesting finishing effects for my illustrations. For example, I select a warm tone gradient, then I change the correction layer's blending mode to soft light and lower the opacity to create a warm color wash over my image. You can also erase parts of the correction layer by using the eraser tool. And you can try out different blending modes such as lighten, overlay, darken, and hue to create custom layer filters. And you can even experiment to create other interesting effects. You can also use the correction layer to create multiple versions of the same image for comparison. This allows you to have multiple options for your illustration while preserving the original image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned more about correction layers. They are useful in balancing colors, creating interesting filter effects, and adding finishing touches to your illustration. Feel free to experiment and try out different options to create your very own custom finishing effect.